Hello. I don't know what, I know the visual is being live streamed, but I can't find out if anyone is live streaming the bike ride, which is a bit upsetting. Someone got back to me on one of their Facebook pages, which I put a post up on about, asking if anyone was live streaming it. And she said, I did put a post up a few days ago, but no one come through saying they was going to live stream me. I'm thinking, what? So, I don't, I don't know what I'm going, I don't know what to do. I don't know if it's, um, what's his name is going to do it on TikTok, but he does it through YouTube. Just doing TikTok or something. So, hey, SRB. Hello, SG. Hello, SRB. How are you both going? How are you both doing today? Stop pinging. God, I forgot to, I can't change me settings now on my phone because if I do, I've got to take it off the clip. That I've got it on, I've got it on one of these phone clips that you can manipulate to have it in any angle you want. And I don't want to do that. It takes ages to put it back together. Oh, it was cooler yesterday. Today's being a bit warmer. I'm not used to this. I'm not used to the warmth. To the heat. Oh. <laughs> Us Brits, I'm not used to this hot weather. <laughs> We're used to the cold weather and the rain and the winds and everything else. But hi, Tracy. But anything else, <laughs> we're not used to. <laughs> was in the middle of watching one of your other videos. Oh, was you? <laughs> I do, I love, I love, I do, and I don't love the heat. You know what I mean? Because I can't have my windows fully open. Because I live in a tower block. And I've got two cats. And I can't afford to have my windows fully open. In case they go think, oh, we'll take flying lessons, go zoom out the window 14 floors down. So I can only have them open a little bit. So I hibernate all year round, SRB. I do. Rarely go out. Rarely, rarely go out. I hate going out, to be honest. Had to go out today to the shop. It took me two hours just to get dressed because I really didn't want to have to go to the shop. Two hours just to get dressed. So, and I hate going to the big shops. Oh, I hate going big to the big shops. Right. I hate... I, I, I if I didn't have if I didn't have to go out at all, I wouldn't. I'd be quite happy staying in every day. Right, but I go out once a fortnight when I have my grandson or my grandkids here. I'll go out to pick him up from school and bring him back tomorrow and then we go out Saturday, maybe if he wants to go out. If he wants to go out then we go out normally to the park. Right, or I'll, I'll say, come on, we'll take you to that cafe, you like, we'll get some lunch from there. But sometimes he don't want to go out, he'll, he'll even say, no, I don't want to go there, I don't want to go out. So. Hmm.
it's a bit hard because my windows, as, they, as you open them, you push them out. So the top part of the window opens and the bottom part opens. You know what I mean? So I can't really put screens up because I wish I could. Mostly home by Dido as well. We swim at home, which is fine by me. <laughs> you got a swimming pool. <laughs> well, I was talking, when I was talking to my daughter the other day, and she's telling me about how they're putting up this fence yesterday. And I said to her, I said, I do miss, because I live in a flat, right? I do miss not having a garden, because I used to love my gardening. I'd be out there. I'd take the kids to school. They go to school from nine o'clock. I'd be home by quarter past nine, right? And by half nine, I've changed into my like shorts or t summer corn while I'm out in the garden in the summer. And I'm out in my front garden or my back garden. And I'm out there till like half two. And I come in, wash up, get washed up, get changed, go and pick them up from school, come home. Then I go back out again for about another hour or so before getting dinner on. And while my husband's washing up, I'm out in the garden again. Oh, I could imagine uh, the one cat of mine. If I could put a screen up at my window, my screen, he'd rip it to bits. He really would. And not only that, because where, where I am, I get a lot of seat. Like the other day, I'm sitting here. I was sitting at the table. And I don't know what I was doing. I was doing something. And this seagull came flying right up to my window. And my God, he obviously didn't realise I had two cats here. Because within seconds of that bird perching on my window, these two cats were boom, up at that window. Claws going everything at the window. I'm going, oh my god, the poor. I think the poor bird must have had a heart attack. But yeah, so I'm happy enough to have them slightly open. If I have all my windows just slightly open, right in the bedroom and the living room, my kitchen and my balcony, I get a nice breeze coming through. It doesn't get really that hot where. You need to have our windows wide open. You know what I mean? It really doesn't. So, anyway. What about that life with Smiley's world? Hmm. I'm still, I'm still supporting Seth. I still support Seth. I think... Uh, it's got to a point, you know where you, ha I'm that sort of person, I'm like Seth, well I used to be, I used to, well I still am a little bit, where someone says something or does something and you hold it in, and someone else says something or does something and you hold it in, and then someone else says something, you hold it in, then it just takes this one person to say something little, something very little, and wham, they catch a whole lot and in my case I felt sorry for my husband at the time because it was always him he caught it every time you know what I mean so and people my mum you say you got you can't hold it in hands you've got to, if someone says something you don't like you've got to say it so there and then so I started to do that and I still do sometimes I say as I he as someone says something to me now Instead of holding it in, I will pull them up about it. But there's still times when I literally have to pull myself in and think, no, nope, you can't, you can't do it, Angie. You cannot do it. You can't. And I hold it in. Yes, it's just mis misdirected his anger. I can totally get it. Yeah. Like people say. Well, he didn't go mad at Chris when he had a go at him. He didn't go mad at Chris for threatening him and all this lot. Because he's been holding it in and holding it in. 
And I don't know what's been going on with um, Trev, because I like Trev Time. I do like him. It was because of him I got onto this case. I've always said that because Trev was talking about it on the Tuesday night after he went missing. He'd done a live, and I went over to watch his live. I thought, oh, my Lord. So the next day I get up and I was doing some research on it, and I did a live on the Wednesday night. My first live about this case was on the Wednesday after he went missing. Right? So if it hadn't been for Trev, I probably wouldn't have known about it until about a week later. So... Oh, okay. No. No, I don't... No, Tony was actually hold that first time he come on live, come on that live, Tony was actually holding the phone, right? When he literally went ballistic, Tony was holding that phone. Yeah, Tony's his PR. Tony should have been saying, no, Seth, I'm not doing this. You cannot, no, no, I'm not, no, you can't do this. He's his PR. He should have been stopping him from doing that. But he didn't. <coughs> so, I'm, yes, it's like, it was, it said that, um, some, one of the YouTubers today said, it's like, you know when you, you go underwater and you feel like you're drowning, drowning, and you're just grabbing for whatever you can catch, grab onto, Yeah. I know that feeling, it nearly happened to me once, while on holiday, <laughs> and you're just grabbing up to grab anything you can to pull yourself up out of the water. This is what Seth's doing, he's just grabbing for anything he can get, you know what I mean? And he's just grabbing the wrong people. Yeah, but look, someone put a comment up about I like about Tony about how he's doing a good job and how or something about how Seth needs to sit back and let Tony do all the interviews. No, because Tony on one TikTok he said, Oh, we're going live on Pascal show and he's gonna talk about the DCS records. Yeah? So everyone was, oh yeah, going to go gotta watch that show. I knew he couldn't talk about the DCS record, DS records, child support record, whatever. I knew he couldn't. And then the other night, what did he say? The other day, he put out that information that lad gave him about how apparently uh, Sebastian had been texting his grandmother the night before and how they had video of Sebastian on the 26th. You know what I mean? And I thought, hold on, you as PR, you should be fact-checking all this. All, it had to, all he had to do was make one phone call, one phone call to fact-check it, and that would be to the sheriff's office. They would have told him, no, no, no. None of that is correct. But he didn't. So, as a PR, he's not doing his job. He's not doing a good job. Right? And I just wish there was someone who was a good a PR agent. Good PR agent. One who will do the fact-checking. Who will <coughs> check everything that's coming in. <coughs> and not be there for it. Tony says he's not getting paid, which he isn't. Right? But, hold on, hold on. Yes, he is, actually, and Seth is dang desperate for help. He's just not seeing the damage Tony is causing. Exactly, he's just grabbing on for anything he can get at the moment. Tony said Stephen was trustworthy. Tony even said he found, we found out blah, blah, blah. They're both lied. Yes, they're both lied on that uh, TikTok. 
And hold on. They open that Sebastian Rogers page, Facebook page, yeah? So that if we needed to ask them anything, we could ask them questions on there. Someone asked a question today. I don't know what, what I can't remember what it was about. And someone come through and said, I think you need to go on the TikTok page. No. He opened this page for this reason, so that if we needed any, had any questions, we could put them on this page and give himself, or or he would get back to us. If it was for Seth, he'd ask Seth, and Seth would come back to, he'd come back with the answer. Or if it was for him, he'd answer us. But now we're being told we got to go on his TikTok. No. I've got TikTok, but I won't use it to go and see him. I'm sorry, it's not happening. It's not happening because TikTok. Uh, right, I'd rather. Now this sounds a bit dramatic. Cut my throat than go on TikTok. Too painful. Like someone said. When I said about how the videos, if you do a live on TikTok, it doesn't keep keep it. So you can't watch it the next day. And someone said, oh, you can, you can. I went, you can't. I said, I went onto that page, his TikTok page, right? And there's n nothing on there where you can watch it. Nothing. You saw it, did you? And it said, uh, someone said, you'd be best to go on his TikTok. No. This was why the Facebook page was started up. The other Facebook page by, which is admins, are um, Trev Time, JLR, I think Magnolia might be one of them, and some others, right? It's just full of drama. Honest to God. I thought, no, no, what is going on with these Facebook pages, please? This was supposed to be so that if anyone had information, they could put them on these pages. And they're not. It's just, it was at first. I was getting some good information off the one page, off that one JLR started. I was getting some really good information off it. But now it's just, let's have a go at Seth. All the time, you know what I mean? And I just put a comment on, someone put a nice post up, they did. And I agreed with what she said. I said, people ought to start turning their attentions to to the person who last saw and spoke to Sebastian. And leave Seth alone. Because Seth wasn't involved. He wasn't involved. And if, if it's right in what they're saying about Chris being down there on the Sunday, then he wasn't involved. The last person to see and speak to Sebastian was Katie. That's the one we need to turn our attention to. And apparently she was on a live, apparently, and someone said that was proof of life. I thought, what live? I think it was Cluminati. Or clooming attic or whatever. I thought, yeah, but she, I don't watch her channel. I won't watch her channel. Yeah. Like, I, mean, I, I read something the other day. That woman they want to bring in, uh, Nina Glass. She runs this organisation, right, for helping mi missing children or something. And it had a comment, a post up there saying, or a comment saying, uh, she will be up here, she will be up in Tennessee, but a car isn't working, it needs, she needs to, go, needs to get a car fixed. I thought, oh my God, there's a plug, there's a plug for money. Come on, she needs a car fixed so we can get her up there. You know what I mean? So, um, it's, I think they need to leave Seth alone because he's going through that, like, that grieving process. 
right? And you have different... And he's going through that anger part at the moment because he's so frustrated because whatever he does is not getting anywhere. He's not getting no answers off law enforcement. He's not getting any answers off anyone. You know what I mean? I'm a mod for Gogo, and she's there all the time. Yeah, I can hardly watch anymore. I did subscribe to Cluminati, right? Because I've got no problem with people supporting Seth and Chris and Katie. Like I said, I would have, if my channel was a big channel, then I'd have Katie up on it. But there's no way on this earth, how would freeze over before I'd have that narcissistic oh person called CP on my lives. No way would I have him on my life. I'd have Katie, I'd have Seth. I wouldn't even have Tony on my life because I don't trust the word he says. Yeah, but she's not she she was all for Seth at first because she said how she spoke to him on the um, construction site and all this stuff and everything, and how sorry she felt for him. Then all of a sudden she has this, like, two, three-hour phone call with Chris and Katie, and it's all oh, such a, a total waste of space. And I went, you know what? I went on a page and went, click, unsubscribed. I noticed on the uh, chat yesterday, yep, she is. That um, Chris and his dad was in that smiley chat yesterday. She got, uh, what did I call it? Uh, she had a, a message or something about how um, Tony and Seth was going to, would like to come up on a panel. So she set that live up for Tony and Seth. But then they didn't turn up and she's thinking, that's when she realised she got, uh, what did I call it? Um, pranked. I will just say she got pranked. But then because that was happening, Seth heard about it and was in a chat. So we come up. Right? But someone said, I'll have to watch this again. I don't know how true it is. Someone said um, that I noticed Trev put up a comment saying, link, asking for the link. And as she put the link out for Seth, uh, Trev, knowing Seth was up on panel, right? She had sort of a smile on her face as though she knew what was going to happen. And I can't imagine Smiley doing that. I really can't. I think she probably thought, Lord, well, let him, let him come up. Perhaps I can talk and find out what's going on and sort this problem out. Because she really wasn't expecting that to happen. Smiley's not like that. She's not like that. And I don't get to watch it that much no more because... Exactly. I, didn't, I don't think she expected it to blow up like it did. But then, what else annoyed me was most of the YouTubers were only playing that little bit where he blew up, where he went ballistic. I sat and watched the whole of that, and at the end, I was in tears. I sat here watching it on my TV, and I was in tears. Listening to Seth again. He's breaking. He's broke. You know what I mean?
I never trust if anyone is really in chat, especially CP in chat. Too many lies and deception. It, yes, SG. Yeah. I've had a few, a couple come up here and say something about one come up and said, um, Chris is a good guy and some else. And so I put his comment up. I thought, fair enough, that's your opinion. But he didn't come back up again. Yeah, I so wanted to just give him a hug because he was breaking and it wasn't fair. I was going to show it tonight, but I don't know if I want to. You know what I mean? Because it's I don't want to rub salt into an open wound. Because it's been all over YouTube and I don't want to rub it, make it make it even worse because Seth is not in the right place. He's not in the right place at the moment. And until he starts getting some answers, he won't be. But it's like he said, um, his PI, Chloe, everyone was up in uproar that he, he asked her to step down. Or she stepped down, whatever. And um, it's because she was stopping him from going on searches. Yep. He needs someone who he can trust, truly, honestly, trust. So that while he's at work, he can they can do these interviews, not go on TikTok. I think I know who you might be thinking of, SRB. Does it start with T? T something S757. Because, what was it Tony said to, yeah, yeah, he's the one, if he speaks to Seth, can get him back and ground him again. I believe that as well. Yeah. He's the one who can get Seth back and grounded. Because at the moment, Seth does not know what the hell he's doing, what the hell he's saying. You know what I mean? But his PR on that on that live is out of order. He shouldn't have let him do that. It is PR. That's what he was brought in to stop doing. He was brought in to stop Seth doing things like that. You know what I mean? And then he's actually holding the camera while Seth goes ballistic. Yep, I, I watch him every morning. In fact, I missed him the past few mornings because I knew he was moving. And he's moved to Tennessee. Don't know where in Tennessee, but I know he's moved to Tennessee. And he's only a young, young lad, well, young man. You know what I mean? And I love to watch his shows in the morning. He's the first one I watch in the morning, is that one. Because he comes on. But now his times might be different now. So I might actually get a live. I might actually catch a live. You know what I mean? Because now he's on Tennessee time. But it all depends what time he comes on and does a live. If he comes on at like 9 o'clock at night, then no, I'm not going to catch a live. <laughs> but if he comes on in the morning, then yes, I'll probably catch a live. Right, so it all depends when he comes on. If he comes on in the morning, I'll catch him. I'm alive. But if he comes on in the evening, I'm not going to catch him because I'm going to be back in bed myself. <laughs> I'd have to watch it the next day. You know what, SG? I'm tired after just sitting here for two hours. 
two hours or three hours. How they could sit there for six or eight hours. I go, oh my Lord, how? How do they do it? Right? But he's the one who will get him grounded. He needs to get back in touch with him. Seth needs to speak to him. Right? But Tony said to Seth at the beginning, you need to stay off, off YouTube. Do I have to? Yes. Right? So what does Tony do then? Goes on to TikTok and starts opening a big gob up. Oh, but it's not YouTube. It's TikTok. I don't agree. I'm not liking the fact he's doing it on TikTok. Probably because he's got more people who like him on there. I, I saw his. I caught. I saw his uh, show this morning. <laughs> I watched him for six hours. It's more than I talked to my husband. <laughs> my husband was lucky if he got a ten-minute conversation out of me. He really was. <laughs> Because by the time he come home, it was like dinner time, then the kids were getting, were out playing, or I was out in the garden doing something, and then I'd come in, and then the kids would be getting bathed and going to bed. And then, come 7.30, it's like the kids were upstairs in the bedrooms, and I've got my programmes on there, and it's like, don't talk to me, my programmes are on. So, he wasn't allowed to talk to me if certain programmes were on, it's like, you get that look. I'd side eye him at the corner of my eye. I look at him at the corner of my eye. And if I wanted to drink, I'd just pick my empty cup and go, look at him with my cup. And he'd go, okay. And he'd go out and make me a coffee or something. <laughs> but we hardly spoke, really, which was a good thing in one way. So, but no, um, he needs to talk to him. He needs to talk to Seth. But someone's saying who, uh, they've got a feeling after tonight's vigil, which I'll be, I was hoping to do the um, the MC run, but I think I might have to show that on another one if someone's videoed it. Yeah, <laughs> that was me, my husband. He used to get home at six, right? Well, between half five, six o'clock, and we'd have our dinner. And then he'd be going wash up. The kids would be out playing. I'd be out in the garden in the summertime, this was. And then they're coming about uh, half seven ish, have the baths, and be up in the beds. So by eight o'clock the latest, it was like, don't, don't talk to me, my programs are on. Be even worse now if he was still with me, because he wouldn't get a word out of me, because it would be, don't, it's like, don't talk to me in the mornings, I'm not a morning person, I really am not, right, so it's like, be even worse now, because I'm definitely not a morning person. So I get up and I put my my YouTube on, and I had control of what went on the TV. When when we got married, I stopped all sports. I wouldn't I wouldn't have no sport on my TV. The only sport I would watch was Formula Formula One Formula One. Yeah, because he had I uh, we had. Uh, a relative who was a Formula One driver by marriage. So we used to watch it for that reason. But then when he left Formula One, we stopped watching it, to be honest with you. <laughs> yeah, the Cougar Crew. 
That's right, because that's what I'll do, coolies. Become a cougar. Then I can get monetized. I'll have, like, memberships, right? The first one would be cougar. My husband goes to bed at nine and I'm up till so is over. I used to... I, my husband would go to bed about 11. Sometimes, we used to go to bed at the same time, but then as time went on, he'd go to bed and I'd sit up till about 2, 3 in the morning. Yep, the Cougar crew. Right, because we've all been, we've all married and hardly have anything to do with your husbands. <laughs> because you're too darn tired. Well, you've been there doing it and got the T-shirt. No, I'm just an, a lady that lives on a hook. I'm the cat lady. I'm the one with the cats. I'm retired. This is my hobby now. <laughs> well, you see, when I'm not on here... Like during the day, right, I do either my 5D diamond art, which I'm working on a piece at the moment, and I've got two pieces of crafts I've got to do, like I've got these two wooden, some wooden panels, wooden boards, like logs, yeah, and I've got to put the names and the date of births of my grandchildren on them for my son and his wife. So they can put it on their children's door. My bedtime is nine o'clock, long. <laughs> well, I must admit, when I've got my grandson or my grandkids here, I try to go to bed about. Hi, true, true crime deduction. Hello. I try to go to bed about ten, ten thirty ish. Because I know I'm going to be working up about 8 a.m., if not earlier. My sister had a good plan. Her three girls, well, she had four girls. Oh, was it four? Four girls, yeah. Helen, Sarah, Francis, Leanne. And they all used to get up at like 6 a.m. in the morning. Are you a professional artist? Wow. Right? And what she did, she put clocks in all their bedrooms. No batteries in it. No, sorry. She put a clock in the bedroom with batteries inside. And she said, when the little hand is on the 7 and the big hand is on the 12, that is when you can come out your bedrooms. And you know, that's what they did. As soon as it hit 7 a.m. in the morning, they was allowed out the bedrooms. If they woke up at 5am, they could they had to stay in the bedroom and just play quietly. And they did. So, but, you know, I've been there, got the T-shirt, done it, never again. <laughs> so, I'm quite happy on my own. Someone once said to me years ago, you've got to be happy with yourself before you can move on. Right? I thought, okay. Well, it got to the point where I was happy with myself, in myself, be with myself, and I wasn't ready to move on. I didn't want to move on then because I'd found me. You know what I mean? I got myself back with no one telling me how I should dress or what I should wear or how I should do my hair or all your hair's getting a bit greyish there, you need to put a colour on your hair. You know what I mean? Without anyone telling me these little things. So now it's like, Phew, don't want to know now, I'm quite happy being me. Try quite happy being me. Oh, true crime deduction. Good to see you here. 
But no, we're going to watch the vigil because it's being played um if I can find it. It's on a Facebook page, but oh god, I'm going to have to try and find it again now. So Oh god, where is it? Would it be on this one? Let's have a look. Oh. But he's he's live streaming it and he isn't a YouTuber. He's just using his Facebook page, so he's not making money out of it, which I'm quite pleased about. I've just got to find his page again now. Mm -hmm. I can't find it. Everywhere I go, when you search down these Facebook pages, all you find are about that fidget, that live yesterday, and that's why I don't want to play it. You know what I mean? But I've got to find it again, so I can do it. I can't even find it in my search. Did I share it? I'll see if I shared it, because sometimes I share it onto my page. It might be on my page. Is this it? No, just that. Oh. No, that isn't it. I'll find it. I will find it, but it's. I can't find his page, but I know I went to his page and it, I just can't find it. It's not showing up in my recent, which is a bit annoying. Hi, Dippy Bird. Hiya. Yeah, they were doing a bike ride, but I, I asked if anyone was live streaming it, and this woman come through on this Facebook page saying she did put a post out earlier on in the week asking if anyone was live streaming or wanted to live stream it, and no one come forward. So I'm trying to find this Facebook, uh, this guy who said he was... It's got to be on one of these two Facebook pages that I went on. Because I've only been on a two Facebook page. I haven't put a comment. I was going to put a post up on both pages to see if I got kicked out. <laughs> no. Oh, hang on. I think I found you. Oh, let me ask it. Let me put this in. Me. Oh. Uh. Hmm. <laughs> no, I don't think it's that one. Because um, when I clicked on it today, it came up straight away. Who was doing it? You know what I mean? But. It's not showing me now. Oh. Hmm. It 
Is this it? Oh, yes, this is it. Oh, I'll find this page in a minute. It's all right, my cat just jumped. That's the one. That's the one I want. This is the one I wanted. I'll get it ready because it's coming up on this page. And, um, hi there. Hi there, everyone is joining. I'm just sorting some out ready for the uh, visual. Right. So, let's go back to bike ride on visual two, visual two different locations. Right, yeah, the bike ride started so starts at four PM, which is like I think nine PM my time, and goes to the um, school, up to the school, and then at six PM the vigil starts till seven PM. And then after that they've got a cookout where they're cooking like hot dogs and all that long. I wish I could be there. Hi. Right, let's just go back up a bit. Just on Twitter checking all the tweets I have. <laughs> I'll never thought, I, you know what, I don't think about Twitter. I should. I should think about Twitter. Well, apparently he was going to have it at the church. Right? But it had to be changed because the church won't let him live, do a live on there. But apparently, from what he was saying in that Smiley's world, that certain people have turned the church against him. You know what I mean? You know, that shouldn't be happening. Where's Karen? Where's Karen? Hi, Karen. Thank you for the green hearts. I did show it. <laughs> Hi. Is that why they moved it to the school? Yeah. Yeah. And no, K and C will not be there. Well, yeah, about 20 minutes. They leave, It's they meet at four, but they don't leave till five. Right, so it'd be like 10 o'clock my time, 10, 11 o'clock my time. So I'm going to be here until quite late tonight. Can't remember which one was moved. Hmm. We obviously. We're just saying, Dippy Bird, when I get my um, monetization, my first membership thing is going to be, what was it again? The Cougar, the Cougar Crew. The Cougar Crew. You know what, I'm not, no, because what he's trying to say when he said that was like, there's people out there that, I'm not out there for Sebastian, I'm out there for the money. They're just out there to make money, right? And it was his way of saying, look, if you can't get on to the fact that we are working together as a team for Sebastian, then feck off. You know what I mean? It's, I know, it's breaking my heart every day. You like it, do you, Dippy Bird? Yeah. The Cougar Crew. <laughs> <coughs> Dippy must have me blocked, I don't see her. Oops, Dippy. You got SRB blocked.
but it's coming up on this page sometime. I don't know when he'll do it, but this is the page it's on. Because it says so here. It says, Happening tonight, if unable to attend, while I do live in the UK, I can't attend. We will live stream from my page via Facebook Live. Note the venue venue change held at Beach High School at 6 p.m. Now, <laughs> I was quite happy he's doing it. You know what I mean? Because he's not doing it. He isn't a YouTuber or a TikToker. Right? <laughs> oh, God, it's <laughs> hobby. He isn't a YouTuber and he isn't a TikToker. And he's not doing it for money. On Twitter. <laughs> I can't see the comments. What, my comments? You can't see these comments coming up. Dippy. Well, only the vigil, not the bike ride. I think, I don't know if they've got someone videoing it, so hopefully someone, I'll check on YouTube, see if anyone's going to, is going to video it, you know what I mean, he's up there. So... Oh, hundred times worse than we could have imagined. No, get back. No, we don't care about Chris and you know what I mean. It's So I can't find anything on there. Just yours on here. Try refreshing your page. Is anyone else having trouble with the comments? You on yeah, come you won't see it. I've just realised you're on Twitter. No, you won't see it on Twitter. You've got to come on YouTube. <laughs> Get your back so side over here, Dippy Bird. Good. Good to see you, Dippy. <laughs> I just clicked then for Twitter Oh god, you can't see you know, you can comment, but you won't see the other comments coming up. Yeah, I've got it uh, streaming on Twitter as well. Uh, I don't know if there's... Yeah, I've got six people on Twitter. Hello. I was being nosy on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, you like cracking me up tonight. But, no, this is where it's being streamed. I can't see anything about... The off phone. I can't see anything about anyone streaming the bike ride, which is a bit annoying. So it looks like, hopefully if someone is filming it, videoing it, they'll put it up on their pages. Ugh. By the way, ladies, the pick is not me. I can't even see it. Oh, right, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm old, this is foreign to me. <laughs> well, I, I changed the title on my second page, my second YouTube page, and I've now got it titled as, hold on, I'll tell you, it's called Voices for All Missing Children. Right. 
And what I'm going to do, I'm going to do one night a week where I go live and I'll do a video a live once a week for, and I'll pick out three or four cases to talk about, right? So here's the link. Oh, fuck off. God's sake. God's. God's. You know when you go to highlight something to copy it? And it highlights the whole fucking page. Just my heading. Here's a link to my new, the, my second page, which I'll be posting going live once a week on. <laughs> You're our entertainment, Dippy. Yep, she's our ent entertainment. Right, but that's the link to the other page. And as I said, I'll be going once a week. I think it'll be a Wednesday night because I won't say weekend. I won't do a weekend night because, as I said, if my grandkids are here, and then I don't normally come live on the weekends. Right, like, I'm live this weekend because my grandkids aren't here. But next weekend, I won't be because I'll have my grandkids. And I thought, I wanted to pick a day, a night or a day, where I know I can go live. And I thought, right, well, if I go Wednesday, my son and his wife normally, if they visit me, they'll be on a Monday or Tuesday. Right, so I thought Wednesday is a perfect night. Smoke them if you got them. It's illegal. It's legal. <laughs> oh my god! Thank you. Thank you. But as I said, um, that's just my other page. And I opened it because I couldn't get onto my first account. Right? And I was keeping it, well, it is a backup. So if ever I get kicked off my first account again on YouTube, I can always fall back onto that one. I'm smoking. I <laughs> wink <laughs> I don't think you need to be smoking that stuff, honest. You don't. <laughs> We're stoners here. Stoners. <laughs> I had a neighbour who lived below me. Only a young girl. She had twins. Beautiful little boy and girl. And um, she used to smoking. But she only smoked it. On the night time, once the two little ends had gone to bed and she'd go, we had like these closed in balconies where it was all a big balcony but it had glass windows put in place. So she'd go in her balcony and have a smoke. She'd have a chair in there and, oh, and she'd take the monitor in there so she could hear her, her kids if they woke up. And she'd just sit in there with the windows open having a smoke. I thought, fair enough, you know, you know what I mean? I've got no problem. Yeah, that's a bit like me. I've got some good pharmaceuticals as well. You know what? There's certain ones are okay. There's certain, like, someone I knew, he used, he used to smoke it and he used to have this one and it smelled lovely but there's some I smell and it makes me feel sick I'm old too uh, I am 50 loves me makes me love <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> 
What have I got in my chat tonight? Huh? No, I can. I can. Oh, like, over in the UK, if you put it on enough, if you play along, you have to play the doctors. And you can get some good meds off the doctors then. This is I don't know. It's my fault. Yes, we'll all blame Dippy Bird if this goes. Whatever, it's Dippy's, Dippy's fault. But, um, you know, if you, if you know how to play your doctor, you can get, in the UK, you can get some good meds. You're scared of turning 50? Oh, no. You know, I couldn't, I was looking forward to my 40th. I was. Because I knew... <laughs> Then I had my son, right, I went, hmm, when my son is 16, I'll be 40. I'll get my life back, because then he's old enough to get, to look after his younger sister, right? If we had, like, sort of thing, if we had another child, he'd be old enough to babysit her, then. So, for 16 years, I've been looking forward to my 40th. My husband did Feck all for my 40th. And um, I never spoke to him for, what, was it a month or two? He said to me, is this because I didn't do anything for your birthday? I just looked at him and he said, I didn't think you liked surprises. I said, how would you know when you've no never ever in the whole time I've known you, ever done me a surprise birthday party, ever. He said, so you're talking to me now, then, feck off. <laughs> but I did, I went nearly two, nearly two months without talking to him. It was bliss. He'd go, go, are you going, he'd see me going out the house with bags in my hands, and he'd go, Want me to take you on to lift up there in the car and I'll just give him the middle finger and walk out. Dippy, you going out you bad. Oh god. I smoke and I shouldn't. Wait, let's do wait. Oh, he said, what the fuck is going, going to fall more? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> well, at 50, you tend to reach that point in age, right? I think I hit it when I was about 45. But when I hit 50, it's like, yep, that's it now. Don't give a flying fuck. And it was true. If anyone said something to me, I'd literally... I ball them and tell them exactly what I thought. You know what I mean? And I thought, you know what, I don't care no more. I don't care. I will call you out on anything now. I'm a trip, thanks. You need to do calling out. You do. No, no, no. No, Dippy, no callings. I'm not doing that. <laughs> oh my gosh, you cannot imagine calling. No, no calling. When I watch these YouTube channels and they do callings, I'm sitting there going, you know what, I'm never doing a calling. Never having callings. Never. So, perhaps when my channel gets a bit bigger, I might think about doing callings. But you got to be on your best behaviour. If I did a calling, you'd have to be on your best behaviour. 
but so the thing is with me i'd have to put two numbers out in case i had anyone in my chat on from uk so i'd have to have a uk number form to phone or a us number form to phone SG. <laughs> I was doing the same. I was when I seen spank, my mind went to spanking. <laughs> Promise. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah. I believe you, Dippy. SG. Oh, no, none of that either. <laughs> oh, my Lord, you like tonight. Poor Sebastian. And what have we got onto spanks and smokes? Well, I'll tell you something. I'll tell you, this is true, right? The shop owners, when I lived in the UK, where I lived anyway, knew when anyone had had an Anne Summers party. Because literally... Uh, within a few days, their orders would come in and they'd be going up to the shops to buy the batteries. So they knew when someone had had an Anne Summers party because they'd be buying bulk batteries in bulk. So it was unbelievable. I had a party, I had an answer my party once for my birthday, right? Because my husband didn't do nothing for my birthday ever. Dippy, I'm in a sink, I swear. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we all believe that, SRB. Yeah, right. I'm the angel then. I'm the angel. What was the, anyway, I had an answer my party for my birthday. Kicked my husband out. Well, no, we went upstairs, that was it. You go upstairs. And my neighbour come round, like, and she's got this leather basque thing on. And I it started to come undone at the front. And I went, I went to her and said, you're coming undone, girl. Who oh, am I? I said, I don't know what you're doing that for. I said, there's no guys here. It's all women. I think she thought there's going to be men there. We all believe that SRB, don't we? Oh, I'll tell you something else. My son actually brought this up the other week. Years ago, when my, my kids were little, there was a a shop we go to where you could buy uh, like a 10p mix-up or 20p mix-up or 30p mix-up. And I always used to go in there and get them, I think it was like a 30 to 50p mix-up, just for them to munch on something on the way down home. It just shut them up for 10 minutes. Anyway, so I've gone in this shop and I'm walking along, just being nosy. And in this aisle, I saw these whips. Right? And I thought, oh, it's a toy whip. Like, a sort of whip for the kids to play with. And when I picked this up and I brought it, it was only something like 99p. So I thought, I'll have it. Took it home, looked at it, and I went, sugar. This ain't a kid's toy. This is a real whip. Right? A real whip. And one day, my neighbour come down and he's seen this whip on the side. My husband was there and he's, he's trying to whip me with this. I went, get the feck away me that whip, with that whip. And as I said it, I'm right by the window, which is wide open at the time. And everyone heard it outside. <laughs> I've got another story that will make you laugh. Yeah, when I was younger, I think I'd be about 18, I used to work at this 
plastic mouldings factory that made parts for Triton showers, right? And there's this one job where you had to put your hand into the machine when it opens. You open the door of the machine, put your hand in, unscrew this metal piece, right? And then, well, no, take this metal piece out and then put it on this other contraption in front of you. I'm going to screw it to get the plastic moulding out. Well, it was on a Friday, so we finished about 8 o'clock on a Friday, 8, 8.30. So I get home, quick shower, change, round the pub by half nine. And I've stood there at the bar, and I'm getting me some, we're getting some drinks in, and someone said, so what have you been doing all day, Angie? And I've just automatically said, screwing because that's what i've been doing i've been unscrewing and screwing these parts right in this machine and as i said the word they said what you've been doing all day and i'll just turn around and said screwing and as i said that one word the whole pub went quiet and all these eyes were on me i thought oh my freaking god you know what I mean? Because we ha that was what we called it. We called it the screwing job. Right? Because <laughs> that's what you did. You just slotted the metal piece back in, shut the door, the two bits were closed together, it would mould, the plastic would be shot in, moulded, then you'd open, so then you take that metal piece out, put it on some other contraption and unscrew it. So we just called it the screwing ship. It's <laughs> the screwing job. So that, that's what I automatically said. And the whole pub just went quiet. Uh, oh, sugar. I did not know where to put my face. I said, I'm going over there in the corner, bring the drinks over. <laughs> I'm running heat in this corner of the pub. So, you know what, Dippy Bay? I probably would give out more money if I had been. Because I remember when I first started there, I used to get £81 a week when I first started there. By the time I left five years later, because I left after having my son, uh, I didn't go back after my turn to leave because he only had three months maternity leave then. I thought, no, I'm not going back. Yeah, he's only three months old, do you know what I mean? I'm not going back to work. So I just left my job. And... <laughs> But that's what we called the job we did. You know what I mean? And one day, there's a radio was on, right? And uh, I had it right by the side of me on my table. Now, I'm partially deaf in my left ear, right? And it wasn't that loud, but this one woman who used to work on the same shift as me, she could be a bit of a... Old Mona, right? And she come up to me once and she said, "Are you flipping deaf?" And turned mind and turned the radio, the radio down. I went, "Pardon?" She said, "Are you fucking deaf?" I went, "Yes, I am actually." Turned the radio back up. She, she just stood there and looked at me. So, is she telling the truth or not? But I was—I was partially deaf. I'm partially deaf, so. I've never had a screwing job, but it's an illegal profession in the US. <laughs> oh, God. But we didn't have another name for it because, you know what I mean, there's lots, oh, God, there's lots of jobs we did where, like working, you know the knobs you got on the shower heads, on the shower faces where it goes to hot or cold or whatever. We used to go, they used to go, right, Angela, you're on the knobs today. You know what I mean? I go, okay. Uh, 
Okay, SRB. We'll behave ourselves, I promise. Right. And so a lot of the words could be a bit discriminating. Oh, God, I'm not discriminating, really. Um, a bit awkward to talk about when you're in public. So you had to stop and think, well, I, make the, I was making the party to this part of the shower today. You know what I mean? So, but I soon learned to be a bit more diplomatic about what I did, what work I did when I was out in public. And then, listen to this, when I got married, right? I also used to keep in my bag my little, you know, these knives, uh, Stanley knives you buy, right? I had a, a, a Stanley knife and a pair of these, like, wire clippers sort of thing that you could cut uh, plastic with, right? And once you got a good pair of a wire clipper, uh, these clippers and a good Stanley knife, you never left them anywhere. You kept them on you all the time. Because if you left them on your table, someone else would take the feckers. Well... At the end of each night, when I finished at 10, I'd put my knife and my clippers in my bag. Well, I worked up until, I think it's the first the Thursday, and then I, I was getting married on the Saturday, so I didn't go into work on a Friday, so I had my knife and my clippers in my bag. I got married, right, got married on a Saturday, Um. We picked our bags up to go to the motel before going to the airport the next day. I'd never thought about this dangling off and my clippers in my bag. Gets to the airport and I went, oh my God. My husband's going, what? I said, I've got my clippers in my bag. They're going to set off the metal detectors when I go through. So we said, hold on. He gave them, he gave them him. He took them up to the security people and explained what was wrong. They took them off him. Freaking out. There was a good pair of clippers as well. Right. And then, literally, about 10 minutes later, I went, oh my God, not again. He went, what now? We're waiting to wait to, see, to go into departures. I went, I've got my flipping Stanley knife in my bag. He went, you haven't. I said, God, freaking well, because I always kept them in my bag. So, he said, you can go up this time. So, I've had to go up and go, I'm really, really sorry, but I've got to hang this thing to you. I said, I really don't want to. I said, because it's my work knife. What I use at work and my plastic mouldings to trim the edges and things like that. I said, I've just got it just right. I've just got that blade just right on it. I said, but I've got to hang it in because I can't get on the plane. He went, nope, you can't. But thank you. I was so gutted. It took me a whole month thing to get those my clippers and my knife just to have a lot to work with them honest it was the things i i used to i i did when i was younger oh good one as you the creator who screws well my first as i said my first uh, monetization for membership is going to be the, the cougars the cougars I'll only have one membership. I'm not going into two or three or four memberships. I'm only having one membership of do anything. And it'll be very, very cheap because I don't really believe in nothing now. Like, you got some who charge... Like there's one member, one YouTuber, he charges... got a membership for, like, $25. I'm going, what do you get for $25? What do we get for twenty five dollars in this membership? You know what I mean? I thought, how and people actually pay this twenty five dollars? I'm going, are you fucking nuts? Are you nuts? You know what I mean? And YouTube, some YouTubers are saying like they did come to an agreement. A few years, uh, about a year or so before, 
that all YouTubers would stick to a certain price and only and not go above this price. Oh God! It wasn't a he; it was a she. Right, and I thought, what are you getting there for twenty-five dollars in a membership? Twenty-five dollar phone call, personal phone call. Oh God! But they're supposed to keep all the prices at us, not to go above a certain price. But I think YouTubers have just, some YouTubers have forgot that. But I'm thinking, and she, this YouTuber goes, she has to make at least $100 every live, otherwise it's not worth her going live. I'm going, but I thought you was here for Summer Moon Utah Wells. You know what I mean? You shouldn't be profiting off a child. <laughs> oh god no well, i hope not i hope not to be i really hope not but um come on what's going on what time is it now five well the ride should have started by now so hopefully in about i never. have a 40 minutes or so, we should get to the vigil. It should start. But I'm your quiz. I'm going to pee myself if you like, don't behave. So, but no, I did some silly things when I was younger. And it's a tough but that's just when I was younger. I'm now, but that was just when I was younger. Now I'm old. I, it's like I'm not old, I'm just wiser, right? And I've tried to tell my son this listen to what I'm telling you, I've been there. You know what I mean? So. Wouldn't surprise me if he's listening to this show. He's probably sitting in the hedges somewhere. I'm wondering if two rivers go. Well, I thought Pascal would have done a live, gone live and done it, you know what I mean? But I'm not finding anyone. Let's see if anyone's coming up now. Let's have a look. Let's go off that channel. Go to my other channel. Um, let's see. More questions. Let's have a look. Click on live. See if anyone's going live on you. No, we got them talking about clooming at a show. I don't care about a show. Got JLR talking about a endangered missing mother, I believe. Uh, what else? Remain calm, alive to thank my mugs and subs. Okay. No, there's nothing coming up on YouTube. So I never use memes. I should I should cause they crack. <laughs> I find some and I post some every so often I post one on my Facebook page. Especially if I don't know what to post. Like if some if all it is is about a certain thing, like that video. And I don't wanna highlight I, I think I did share it on my page but then that's it, you know what I mean? So 
some of your signs I don't understand, but can usually figure out. Book quiz, what's that? <laughs> what's that? It's like I'm going to say something now, and you won't know what I am saying. Right? You will not know what I'm saying. Which is something we used to, we used, uh, some, I still say it now, occasionally, but not so much. But it's a lot of the times I used to say it a lot down in Birmingham. Right? Now, I'm going to say it, but you won't know what I'm going to say. Okay? Mm -hmm. Did you hear that? Ah. Right, it's like you're saying it, but you're not actually opening your mouth. You're like, I. It's like I was saying, I don't know, and it's like, oh. And when I first moved to Scotland, they was always coming out with their their sayings, right? And I'd say, what the hell? What? But one day I thought, right, well, I'll get them back. So I stood there and I'm at work and I'm stood there filling in my book that I had to fill in for the jobs that I've just done or something. And someone said, Do you know where such and such is? And I just thought, perfect. I went, uh, uh. And I went, what? I went, uh, uh. I went, what? I said, I don't know. I said, now you know how I feel when you come out with all your Dundonian slang and I'm sitting there or standing there thinking, what the hell have they just said? Now you know how, how I feel because you didn't know what I just said. I said, I could have called you every, any name under the sun then and you would not have known. <coughs> it's, I don't know. uh uh I don't know. You just literally run the words all together. I don't know. Where are you from? Oh, SG. SG, where are you from? No, it isn't cheeky. I say house bowels all. House bowels. That's calm. That's very calm. Like, one YouTuber today was saying, in normal, when he's not on screen, he's a lot calmer and a lot quieter. But when he's on YouTube, he's a lot louder and a lot, a bit more boisterous and all this sort of thing. When I'm on live, I watch what I say. Because otherwise, I'd have to use the beep, beep, beep sound all the time. Because when I'm not live, when I'm at home and I've got my family here, it's like, F, what, F, it's the F word constantly, the, the F bomb. You couldn't understand the bobbies in England to take directions. <laughs> Illinois and Newcastle in UK. Oh, God. I'm sure Newcastle, many, 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 many years ago, used to come under the Scotland border. Many, many years ago. Before you were born, before I was born, before my grandparents were born. But I'm sure Newcastle used to, the Scottish border used to bring Newcastle into the Scottish border into Scotland. So, someone asked me once if I was from Newcastle. I went, eh? What? I said, you from Newcastle? I went, no, no. I'm originally from Birmingham, UK, England. I'll tell you something that will crack you up. The other, day, the other week, I had to make a phone call. What was it for now? I can't remember. And um, 
they needed to me to clear their passwords, my passwords with them. So I was going through that procedure. And then the woman went, where was you born? And I'm sitting there with the phone in my hand. I'm thinking, where was I born? I went, UK, England, a hospital. Right? And she goes, yeah, we're right, you're right next to it, yeah. Seventies was a good year to be in England. <laughs> right? But the fact that she said, Where where are you where was you born? So I just said, England, UK, a hospital. Right? And then she goes, Oh, okay. Date of birth. Oh, thank you. That's more like it. People were so friendly. There was then. I'll tell you something. A friend, a, la, a girl I know from up here, she was going down to Birmingham to a concert. Right? And I said to her, I said, whatever you do, she was going down with a friend. She booked into a, like a hotel thing. I said, whatever you do, do not walk around the streets with your phone in your hand, like following a map on your phone. Do not do that. <coughs> Keep your money. Do not get your purse out in public. Before you leave any shop, make sure your purse is secure into, a, into your bag. I said, keep your phone on you at all times. Do not get it out in public. Right? And I said, because you'll get, you'll get jumped. No. I went, yeah. Yeah. She went down there and she said, oh, my God, it was horrendous. Horrendous. I said, what was it like? She said, just like you said. I said, thank you. So, if anyone ever goes to Birmingham, keep your money in your purse at all times. Do not get your phone out at any time. Even if someone's phoning you, don't get your phone out. Just go in your bag and just turn it off or something and phone them back later. Don't get your phone out. And don't ask anyone for directions. Because then they know, oh, she don't know where she's going. Okay, Dippy Bird. Well, um, we've got a while yet before the vigil starts. About half hour, 40 minutes. And then it's just us, SG. <coughs> Anyone else want to come in chat? <coughs> <coughs> come on. Got be others out there. I know, I know I've got others out there sitting in the bushes. See, I come on earlier because I thought, um, I know you're coming back. I know you are, Dippy Bird. Go and sort your daughter out. School tomorrow. Sunday evening. Bath time. But no, um, what was I saying now? So, people don't believe me when I say, tell them what um, Birmingham is like. I really don't. Like, if I was walking up the road, right, to my school, to the school to pick my kids up when they was younger, and I was with a friend, maybe, right, and we was talking about summer, and maybe it could be about uh, a Muslim family or another family. If we mentioned certain words in that conversation and there's a Muslim guy in their garden or getting out their car, and they heard you say this. They'd have us for racist, being racist. I'm not surprised with you, Cougars. Any guys won't want to come in this chat while you've probably got the Cougars here. 
But no, 70s was a good time. I say good for me, I was only what? I was born in 66, so I wasn't very old in the 70s. I, I was still a, a baby. 80s was more my year, 80s. Because that's when, I was still at school, but I left school around about 82, something like that, 82, 83. So that's when my, when it, when life changed for me, I was in about 83, dramatically. I was born in 58. Yeah, oh God, I thought I was old. <laughs> People just say to me, don't get old. I go, why? Can't be that, it's not that bad. Don't, don't put yourself down. No, I'll turn around and say to anyone, don't get old. Don't. It does have its advantages, but it has a lot more disadvantages. Like, people say, they remember when those in the 20s and Come nine o'clock, goes, yeah, we're going out for a good old pee up. You know what I mean? We're going to the pub, we're going to do one pub after another, and then we're going to hit the nightclub, and we're not going to get home till about four in the morning. Well, I used to be that girl. Now, come nine o'clock, it's, it's like my body's saying, come on, time to bed. Come on, you've had enough today. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> so... That's the only disadvantage about getting old. But it's not a disadvantage in another way. It's nice. It's just another time in your life. It's just another chapter. And it's like, I was getting off the bus once. My kids were, weren't old. They are still children. And I know I'm going to sound a bit whatever. But there's a young woman. Mother getting off the push chair, but Bobby in the push chair, right? And I went to my friend, I said, Am I getting old or are mums getting flipping younger? Because I was 24 when I had my first one. But I swear to God, this mother who got off the bus was a lot younger than 20. You know what I mean? And my daughter was pushing her grandson once in the push chair. And someone come up to me and say, like she was the mother, and she said, oh, how old's your little boy? Because you could tell he was a boy because he's, like, got all blue on. And she looked at this woman, and then looked at me, and I said, she's not the mum. She said, oh, are you the mum? I went, no, and pointed to the mother behind me. I went, for sake. Does it really matter who the mother is? They look younger than the older we get. <laughs> I'm swear they do. But then again, there are young kids, girls today, and they go, like when they're 16 or 15 or 16 and they're having babies, and they go, yeah, but I've got my life. Once they're 16, when they're 15, 16, I'll only be there. I can still have a life. I went, but when your child goes to you, oh, what did you do when you was 20, Mum? Did you go to the nightclubs, Mum, when you was 20? Did you go out pub crawling? No. You, do, you can't tell them that. Because you was at home looking after a child. You know what I mean? Where my kids go to me, sometimes they're lucky to be living. They used to go to me. Like, all kids, I think all kids have said this. Did they have colour TV? When you, was, when you was a little girl, Mum. Well, no, they didn't. It was just black and white TV when I was a little girl. It was like, as I got a bit older, we went into colour TV. Do you see Jill, Jules? What's up, ladies? Oh, we're doing well. We're just waiting for the vigil to start because I was hoping someone would um, live stream the uh, motor... The bike ride, but there's no one that I can see is live streaming him. So, 
So... <sighs> it doesn't want to disturb the integrity of the clients. See, I thought J for Justice... No, not J for Justice, sorry. Uh, Justine on TikTok would have been live streaming something, but he isn't. Well, if he is, it's on TikTok, and I don't watch TikTok. So, Bobby in England, yep. Bobby who? Jones. Right, um, so I'm a bit disappointed that no one was live streaming the bike ride. I'm hungry. I should have ordered something to eat earlier. I did have something to eat earlier. But I've ate all my chocolate. I ate that earlier as well. I've got some peanuts in my cupboard, but I'm not starting on nuts. Not in this con not in this chat tonight. Yeah, so I put a comment, I put a post up on one of the Facebook pages saying, does anyone know if anyone's doing a live tonight of the MC bike ride? And the woman come through saying she put a post up earlier that week and no one offered to do a live to come through and do a live. And when you think, true, true, they're probably, yeah, they're on bikes or cars or in the trucks, whatever. So hopefully someone will have it on a video. Someone who isn't driving or riding a bike. Probably a passenger. Hopefully someone will get something. And if so, I'll just post it. I'll show it on my live tomorrow night, but I'll post it in my community tab. On my Facebook page and on my community tab. But this page in front of us is the page which is going to go live with the um, visual. That's why I've just kept it on this page. Yes, it would be nice to stream before and after. You know what I mean? But if there um, in the, if if there is any YouTubers there, which I believe Pascal was supposed to be going, I don't know if T Rev was going. Um, if there are any YouTubers there, they're either going to be driving or riding a bike, aren't they? So they're not going to want to miss out on being part of that ride. I can't blame them. So hopefully someone will have liked, uh, videoed it. You know what I mean? So that we can at least watch them go by. Like every year, and I didn't know to hear it this year, every year there's some, um, yeah, he did promise to go. Every year, I think it's more around, I'm not sure if it's, on the run up towards Christmas time or something like that. Or oh, is it this time of the year in the summer? We get a load of bikers. And they do a bike run. To raise money for certain charities. And they come, ac come along the main road. where, Which I can see. If I know where it is. I'll, I'll actually go down. And film it this year. If I know when it is. And what time. Because it's all bikers and going along on the bikes and everything. It's lovely. And as I said, T Rev's just moved down to Tennessee. Don't know where about in Tennessee. So he might go. T 
T Rev will be oh no, not T Rev. Trev Time will be there. Hopefully. Whether he films is another thing, I don't know, but I hope he does. I hope he doesn't take what Seth said to heart. Right? Because you've got to understand, Seth is going through a pro a process at the moment, you know what I mean? And he's, he's drowning. It's like, as I said earlier, it's like he's drowning. drowning and he's just grabbing up. To, and he's just grabbing anything he can to pull himself out. Well, I had um, my my brother. There's a lad who lived down the road from where we where we grew up. My brother knew him. Well, he had a motorbike. <laughs> and every so often, if he saw me when I got off the bus to come home, right? If he saw me walking along this road, he, he'd pull over and say, "Jump on!" He'll put a helmet on me, and off we go. And he'd stop just be just by his house so that my mum and dad wouldn't see me on the back of the bike because he didn't want to get in trouble and he didn't want me to get in trouble and he didn't want to have an argument with my brother <coughs> <coughs> but I love the bikes I used to know a lot of bikers when I grew up a lot of bikers because my brother knew them And there's one pub, I'll tell you a story about this pub. There's one pub where all these bikers used to go. This one biker group used to go. And apparently word had got out that a visit was going to be paid, paid, paid by another group of bikers. So what these bikers did is they put like six bikes outside from the pub. Yeah? And they parked all the other bikes right, right round the back of the pub so you couldn't see them. So, these bikers, some were on bikes, some were on, in a van, right? They pulled up, seeing only like five or six bikes out there, for ah, oh, we could take these on, there's only a handful. So they goes along and they knock, start knocking the bikes over. And as they've knocked the first bike over, the bikers start coming out the pub. And oh my God, it was a bloodbath. Because there's like 60 to 70 bikers there. And there is only about, what, 10 of them. 10, 15 of them. But they thought, oh, we've got the better hand. There's only like five bikers there. Trev time doesn't seem like he'd, he'd hold a good. I'd be leery about turning it in Seth's ear. And what may occur. I said the other night, I had, I was quite happy for Tony to be, right? But after those two interviews he's done on TikTok, and then last night when he held the, the phone for Seth, when he went on his rampage, I thought, no, no, I'm not having that, Tony. You're supposed to be his PR. You're putting bad information out there. You're not stopping him. You're letting him go on a rampage on a YouTube channel. That's not PR. That's not good PR work. Right? He was brought in to keep all this hostility out. But he's letting him do it. Right? And it's like he said, we're not going to stop any more questions when it comes towards Chris and Kate. Fair enough. But please, don't let him go on rampages like he did. Lily Anna, anyone who did this is to blame for a community suffering because of the disappearance of an innocent teenager with special needs. I say this today, karma won't stop. Yeah. Yeah. It's sad. Just sad that, but someone said you watch after this video, they've got a feeling Tony will be out because 
People aren't happy that the fact that he was holding that camera up while he went on that rampage. And you should have been stopping Seth from doing that. You know what I mean? That is what a PR does. A PR, public relations. That's a PR, public relations. Well, he's, he's got no relationship with the public because no one trusts him. No one trusts Tony. So his PR is going straight out the window. I, I have said it's up to Seth. If he wants to have Tony on his team, then we've got... That is Seth's choice, you know what I mean? But if that's the case, then P, Tony has got to start being a PR. Not a buddy. Not someone who's going to back him up and let him go on a rampage on a YouTube channel. Because right now, Chris is laughing his fucking pants off. So, um, it's just, it's just sad because he needs, he wants help and support and he's not getting that help and support he needs. So, what time is it now? Oh, God, I'll be doing that live soon. Come, Mom. Let's just see. <sighs> oh, God. So he's got the live up from the last video. I did. And I was watching a little bit of it before coming on here tonight. Yeah. It's like... It's like Tony is... He says something. Right? Then he backs away. And then... Whatever he says then upsets Seth. Right? Because they'll say something and people go, oh, but that isn't right, blah, blah, blah. So that upsets Seth. And then he's not stopping Seth. Mm -hmm. Hold on. Someone's just come through on Facebook. I'll go on this. Well. Uh, let's have a look. Come on. Right. Let's have a look. Uh -huh. Oh, God, people have been asking for my link. Oh, God, I've got to go to my YouTube channel. Uh, I've just got to get my link. Uh, Right. Um, so, I just feel sorry for him. I do. He's a father who's... Well, look, put it this way. This is a father. Right. Who thought... Who had plans for his son to come and live with him. Any time now. 
right? Full time. And then all of a sudden, he's not getting it. You know what I mean? He's not getting that now. Uh, okay. So, um, he's not getting young of what he planned. It's just been literally, here, here's the carrot, but oh no, you're not getting the carrot now. Right, so someone, is that post? Right, it's got, this is three days. For the ride for Sebastian event, can we have someone go live in here, please? For those who can't attend. Right? So, and that was three days ago. So, I don't know why no one would go live on that. Oh, so sad. This whole case is just sad. It's heartbreaking. And every time I hear Seth talk, like he did at the end of that live, it's like someone's grabbing in to just down and ripping your heart. You know what I mean? Because he was angry because he feels let down by certain people, but He's, apparently he said he gave the video to his PI, the PI then gave it to Trevor, and I think he was more upset that someone sent that video to his mother. Why they sent it to the mother, I don't know. Yeah, when Tony upsets public, people turn on Seth. But this is the video from the other week on the bridge. So. I'll keep a guy on this so because it should be up here. Oh, God, God, there. It should be up here somewhere. Because it says, happening tonight, if, if unable to attend, we will live stream from this page via Facebook Live. So, it should be on here somewhere. I know it was, it was, it was beautiful. But I hope there is a good turnout this time, because apparently... The one before, I think it was the one before the bridge, or the one, I think it was the one before the bridge, where they had it at the high school. There's a handful of people there. And you know why that was? Because a lot of the Facebook pages would not let them post anything on there about Sebastian. Ah, you're back. Good to see you, girl. We're still waiting. Still waiting, waiting for this live. I've now I've got YouTube up as well, so if anything comes up on there, you know what I mean, I'll see. Um, let's just say, but you see, yeah, you know, I'm going to share this, right, all about Seth, right, all about Seth again, uh, where's it about Sebastian, you know what I mean, where is 
anyway, I'm here about Sebastian. Right? Now, this is about the Smiley. He's just talking about the Smiley show on there. Right? So it's not about Sebastian, it's about Seth and Tony. Oh, there's me. Mm. Right? But there's nothing on here for the boxing game. So I'm hoping they do because I'm going to be really annoyed if it doesn't come up. Read comments, Tony was supposed to fly. I do. Read comments, Tony was supposed to fly a drone. Was he? What comments? On where? Know what I mean? Let's see if there's anyone here. Hold on. Oh, Marcus, wait, don't need. Uh, What's this? Are we going to see anything on this? Live has ended, my. But I can't watch it again because the live has ended. You know what I mean? Hold on, what was this? Is this it? What's this one? No. You know what I mean? It's... So if you do a video, a recording, then that it gets saved. But if you do a live, it doesn't get saved. You know what I mean? So this is what's annoying me, that Tony is doing it on TikTok. Because if you don't catch it, you miss it altogether. Oh my God, holy shit. Look, I've got to share this. Right? Holy shit, Tony's Nina is Chris Proudfoot's ex wife. It's the same Nina according to JLR. Um, no, I've seen pictures of Nina's, uh, Chris Proudfoot's ex wife Nina. I've seen the video and I've seen pictures of Nina Glass. And they looked totally different. Right? So, um, this is what I hate about this group. How they put things up like this. It's just causing more crap all the time and it's so annoying.
Nie. Someone else said there is nothing that is supposed to be live streaming, this guy. Right? There's nothing on his page yet. Yeah. And that's the link they're giving you. But there's nothing on his page. There's nothing saying about him going live. It's got all these people saying, thank you, I'll be watching, I'll, thank you, has it started, and all this stuff. Um, I'm getting pretty annoyed, because no one's doing it on live. I won't go on TikTok, because it fucking annoys me. He said, this guy here said he's going to do one, do a live. But we're coming up to 9 o'clock later time now. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah. Uh, we're coming up to 6 o'clock their time now. Yeah, sorry, not 9 o'clock. 6 o'clock their time. Because I said it's normally around about 11, 11 p.m. my time. So... It's just annoying. Oh God, I've just got to get this back up again. Because this is a page. It's supposed to be going live on. Right, where are we? It's right under the co comment Gina. Oh, um. oh, who's that SRB who's going live? Because this guy isn't going live by all accounts because nothing's coming up on his page. It should be, it should be making sure it's out on Facebook, on YouTube, on every social media platform. But he isn't. Get a news reel down there. Just say the YouTube creator his name, it's okay. Because then I can, if that's the case, I can go and stream that. And I'll just acknowledge him in my description. So, um, it's just annoying because this guy said he's doing it live and he's... Unless he's waiting for the dead on 6pm to start. If you don't come live tonight, I'm going to be so mad. I will put a comment out actually saying, thank you for not coming live last night. Thank you very much. Sat there for over an hour waiting for you to come live and you never come on live. I will not be happy with it. I will put a, a nice comment towards his, on his page. See, I've got YouTube up and I'm not getting nothing... Put all of this in. Oh, he is. I've got one. I've got one.
What's up, y'all? And in the back. The Pascal said I knew he'd be filming it. What's up? What up, y'all? It's time to ride. Look at this. Amazing. Bang. All day. I just want to show off the shirt one more time. Look at that shirt. Ride for Sebastian. I love it. I love it. Thank you, brother. Have a nice ride. I'll see you over there. All right. Thank you, so Pastor. We ain't messing around here. Unbelievable. Turn out wow. Just love. Hey, hey, hey. That's good thing. I think that's good. Okay, All right, it's wheels up. I gotta get going, but I'll see you guys in the next live. What? Where you going? Where you going? Much love. Ah! Where you going? You can't do that to me, Pascal. How dare you do this to me? Didn't even know. It wasn't showing up on any of the YouTube that he was live. I had it clicked on the live channels and nothing was showing up. I am subscribed. That's annoying because I was subscribed to him. Thank you, YouTube, for unsubscribing me. That's why. Because I said he'd be there and I couldn't understand why he wouldn't be live streaming it. What I'll do is until I hear about the video. No, he live streamed it and then he only did up until before they left for the ride. He wasn't streaming the ride itself. Hi, Brandy. So, you know what, though? Let's go back because I changed it. Right. See, I was going through all these and this was not coming up. Now let's from the beginning. We're going to go down that road. We're going to pick up Gallatin Road to Center Point Road. We're going to run Center Point Road all the way down Long Hollow Pike. Turn right at the Beach Heights. While you're riding through these areas, this is absolutely the area where Sebastian went missing. I don't want no stunt riding, but he's on two burnout. But absolutely, let them fight the scene and let him hear us. Yeah. 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 That being said, when all our bikes, our MC clubs, line up in the front of the pack, independents line up behind them. Okay? Good to see this. So many turning that Sebastian. For everybody that doesn't know, my wife's Jeep is a silver Jeep over here. <laughs> she will be our tail gunner. She will be on the end of the line. Don't be behind her. Okay? 
Does she have a radio? You got a radio? Hi, Kevin, Momo, Momo, and with Wisdom Speak. Hello. Take a moment. Y'all think about, pray about Miss Salam. She couldn't be here. She was supposed to pray. I'm going to feel in best I can. A good turnout, wasn't it, yet? Yeah. want us to stand together in our shields of faith. So this is just a small bit, okay? There's a big meetup. Everyone with their whips, their bikes, etc., all getting together. Yes, I am here. I am really here. Look, boots on the ground, okay? Boots on the ground right here, okay? And uh, we out here. This is an amazing man. I got choked up with the amount of people that showed up. I've, I have so much footage that I'll be sharing with you guys when I get back home. I look forward to sharing with all that stuff with you guys. But first things first, everybody's coming out here, showing positivity, showing showing up in solidarity for Sebastian, right? Forgetting all the drama, putting all that BS aside, and just focusing on the facts and trying to bring this young man home. Sebastian Strong all day long. This is part one. I'm going to be doing another live at the vigil. Okay, we're only I'm only going to do a little bit of the vigil, not the whole thing, because. I want to be respectful, but at the same time, I just want you guys to see how many people have showed up. This is crazy. And no, I'm not riding. I'm, I'm in a truck. I'm riding in the truck. Okay. I am not riding. All right. So uh, let me show you guys what I'm talking about. Bam. Oh, you got your seat. Okay. I see you. I see you. Look at all these rides. People rocking green. People wearing his wearing a shirt, the Sebastian Strong shirt. What up? What up? What up? Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Look at this. What's up, y'all? And in the back. What's up? What up, y'all? It's time to ride. Look at this. Amazing. Bang. All day. I just want to show off the shirt one more time. Look at that shirt. Ride for Sebastian. I love it. I love it. Thank you, brother. Have a nice ride. I'll see you over there. All right. So we ain't messing around here. Unbelievable. Turn out for wow. Just love. Woo! All right, 
this wheels up. I got to get going, but I'll see you guys in the next live. Much love. Ah! Right, so that was that one. So... Hit the live again so I can see anyone coming. Right, I'm now on the live section. So if, if a live comes up now, I will see it because I'm now once again subscribed to his channel, which I thought I already was. But someone said on another YouTube channel, because when I'm not doing this, I watch a lot of these um, people who, who live in motorhomes and travel around. And I follow one that is uh, the Northerners on tour. I'll put the link in. It's a British, a British couple. And they said, please check your subscription, because we've noticed... A lot of subscribers, our subscribers are going down and then it shoots up again and then it goes down again. And I thought, I've noticed that. I haven't got a big platform, but I notice every so often I lose a subscriber or I'll, and then all of a sudden it jumps back up by four. I'm thinking, what the hell is going on? So, yeah, a lot of times it's YouTube. So that was a good turnout. Still got that guy, and he hasn't put nothing up yet. You know what I mean? There's nothing on his page, and he's supposed to be going live at the at six p.m. You know what time is six p.m. their time? Well, I know four p.m. It was nine p.m. at my time. So 6 p.m. will be 11 p.m. And it's 11.13 now. So, I'll stick with my Pascal. But he's not showing all the visual. You know what I mean? So, but that was only six minutes, that live. That was only oh, six minutes. But it was good. I was, it's nice to see so many people turning out for Sebastian. But hopefully someone will have a video of the ride itself. People riding along. People might video it. So hopefully we might get some clips from somewhere. Someone on TikTok maybe. So I don't know. I didn't see Tony there, did you? I didn't see Tony on that live. He's supposed to be there. I love, I wish now I'd learned to ride a motorcycle because I love motorcycles. I do. But um, I never learned to ride a motorcycle and I never learned to drive because. We was talking about this the other day, actually, because I said, I'm glad in one way I don't drive because I wouldn't be able to drive now. Because we are talking about a case that happened where that woman drove into the um, this building where there was a, part, a kiddies party going on, right? And apparently she, her leg seized up on or something. So... And I thought, that could happen, because I know my leg does. God. Right. No, what I said is, the area he that was driving through, the routes, the roads I was taking, this is where Sebastian went missing from, you know what I mean? So... So that's what they meant. That was the area he went missing from. 
Pascal scaredy cat. <laughs> but he kept his word, he turned up. That's a lot there, yes. And that's why they're having a cookout as well at the after the vigil. Yeah, we never know what's next. So Yeah, it said it this is the area he went missing. But what I think he meant is like they're driving through like Hendersonville. So Hendersonville is where he went missing from. Subaru Steve, hello again. Yeah. I know, but I haven't watched, when I watch Pascal, I watch it normally on my TV, right, so it doesn't, I don't always see if I'm, if it's, if I'm sub subscribed or not, and I know I was, because I used to get his, when he was going live, come up on my laptop, you know what I mean? Forty-five minutes for six for them. Oh my God! Look, you cougars. There's a guy in the shit chat now. So behave yourself, okay? Oh, we so shown the whole ride as well. Yes. But you know what? There's no one else. Look what they're talking about, Seth. Seth, Seth. And Tony, and you know what I mean? It's all Seth and Tony, Seth and Tony. This isn't about Seth and it isn't about Tony, it's about Sebastian. All right. Okay. Oh, it's Clutch Pearls got it live. Oh, darn, let me pull these up. Let me pull it up. Clutch them pearls. <sighs> Baby is. Lots and lots and lots of turnout. Lots of turnout. I agree, Frank. No, I'm not. Oh, no, I'm not subscribed. I'm subscribed to this channel. I'm subscribed to this channel. I to this channel. Tennessee is beautiful. So beautiful. Channel a lot lately. <laughs> Thanks, Devin. Thank you, Tennessee. SG, number of cougars are getting closer to 
Ang yung book ko. <laughs> Sebastian, wherever he is. Oh my God. You know, yeah, all he wanted was friends. The only time in my internet's playing up, I'm going to literally hit the roof. Subaru All he wanted was friends. <laughs> okay. okay. Come on. All he ever wanted. Get them bugs webbing. Go on. This is heartbreaking, though, because we shouldn't be here doing this. You know what I mean? We shouldn't be here doing this. Friends and love. Yes. I'll just add, just in, don't strike me. I'm going to add you to my description. Not your link to the description. Don't strike me. I love you. I do just think. I mean, he's been on for a while as well. How long has he been on for? Oh, I am subscribed, and I've been getting notifications. Four hours ago we started. Four hours ago. I started two and a half hours ago. No, we won't. I know we won't. Hello, Sherry. Have I missed someone? Yes, I have. Hello, Sherry, how are you? Oh, good to see this. Okay. Is that it? Now there's another. Um, yeah, I think I think Mysterious just drove by. I think so. Really bad signal on TikTok. Yeah, it was her. Sorry, it took me a minute. I freaked out. For good news, they got a FaceTime. I did the same <laughs> thing, and I was about to call you when it finally came through. <laughs> Have you seen uh, CP or KP yet? Either one of you? We did it unloading some stuff. My daughter thought it was them, but she wasn't sure. They, they said the they weren't going last night on the phone call. No, they're not going. These people were unloading like water and stuff. And they then they drove off. That probably was then. Mm -hmm. Yeah, probably was then. Wasn't them. Probably came just to say they did something and leave. I'm so glad you're able to do this because we can see it so much better like this. I don't think Terry Lynn is. Let me check. Okay, good. Uh, 
Yeah. No. Yeah. Let me show. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there he is. Yes, sir. I bet that was Tony and Pascal with it the most truck. Yeah. Oh, Jaden, yeah. Okay, hold on. I got it. Here we go. We got a good feed. Good feed. Good feed now. I'm screaming for me. I got that scream now. Every motorcycle and vehicle that you can imagine is out there. Most likely here today. Is that Tony talking? I know the community is very grateful for them to come out here and assemble. Here's Tony this evening. There was Tony. <laughs> I I take you at a different angle, trying to record this as best we can. I swear to God, someone compared me. him to this. <laughs> okay. Watching this Facebook, I just want to appreciate everyone that has followed this and been sharing fire. The uh, community, as well as myself, <laughs> appreciate any effort that you all do in sharing bring this, whether it's a flyer in person or it's through uh, social media posts, sharing his flyer. I can tell you it, that is a lot of folks there. Much appreciated. And, uh, we just oh, need to keep going out for Sebastian. And that's the goal here. Uh, we don't want to let Sebastian take a back seat in the news or anything like that. We want yeah, so you just let on their Steph go off on a rampage. Spreading the information and uh, it's a fun. Thank you all. If I had to say, I think we've been to around four or five prayer vigils since uh, this has started. Um, this is by far uh, the largest crowd that I, I can remember uh, assembling here. Um, this is great. Uh, also, thank you to the Sumner County Schools uh, as well. Uh, they've been very accommodating in allowing uh, this group to assemble and pray for Sebastian and hold these vigils at Beach High School. Um, yeah, we do appreciate it. Uh, the director of schools is um, right. involved helping, you know, letting us hold it here. Um, really nice to see that. I don't know. Schools, uh, as well. You know, I'd like to give a shout out, you know, to these students Not here one. at Beach High School. Not one vigil. Uh, about a month or so ago, maybe a little bit more, a little bit less, they um, also I don't know uh, if we should feel sorry for Sebastian and bring awareness. Uh, super proud of those students for or um, just that, that's very uh, think it's very heartwarming, and I know the community appreciates their efforts as well. I've missed anyone. I'm I understand. I think Tony is a big problem. Go up here. You got Sebastian's the, uh, army there with their sign. Sebastian's army. She's yes. out there helping what I call the moms of Sumner County. You know, we really have to recognize and uh, give them a lot of credit for putting this together. Uh, without that their help, this doesn't happen. Want. Without the community getting involved, this uh, so this, this woman we want so everybody has to come that together um, to put these prayer vigils together in some shape or form. Um, super proud of the, the community to do this. I'm going to walk up these stairs here. We're going to see if we can get you a better view uh, looking from up top. This is a better view. 
They make it that noise. Super proud. So what we're going to do for now is we're going to come off here off this Facebook live feed. Um, but please feel free and to join us. Like I said, it's supposed to start at six o'clock, but sometimes what? that is delayed what? by a few minutes here and there. But uh, right around six o'clock this evening, uh, we will be um, live streaming the uh, prayer vigil for Sarah. Okay. Uh, we will see you back. Okay. So that didn't last. No. Um, let me see if there's any other feeds. Let's give it a whirl. I know it's gone very quiet. Let's see if there's still live. Okay. Here's another live. Not that. good of quality but credit goes to Just curious can you say where she's at on the screen chloe 1227 i'm coming yeah okay there's certain ones Jennifer that are okay and there's certain ones that are there just to make them on for you just get as close as you can get right there and then she can come to you and zoom in jennifer <laughs> you know what i mean there were so many out there start talking. To get them on it and if, if yeah when they start talking if you could zoom in that'd be great you're doing amazing jennifer thank you when I go live, when I am monetized, none of my lives will be monetized. None of them. Not them with doing something like this with children. All right. She's right in front of the table up front, Mysterious. Thank you, Holly. I'm up on the top of the stairs. Hold on. Oh, okay. Okay, where are you? Oh, there you are. Well, I well, I monetized, but none of me yes. Can you go up? Can I go up there with you? is coming down. Hold on. No, yeah, we can't have the cougar numbers going down. 30 there. Numbers <laughs> I forget there's up. an hour difference between you and me. Come on, we've got some more cougars awesome. in, that, in the bushes there. More cougars. Yeah, but, you know. Do you know it's going up. Oh, sorry, I read. Sorry, my fault. We that. It's going up. Actually, right, keep it going up. Okay. I have Is a, there a tip thing. jar on the table? I don't know. Well, I've just got to go and get some juice. You need a glass. You got that. It's this middle button right here. Okay. Okay. You should just be able to. Go back. Go back. Oh, wait, no. Hey, Jennifer. Yes. If you sign that guest registry, would you please sign Cajun and Coley, please? <laughs> you brought your best two. I'm looking for other feeds as well. Family. Until yeah, all of us. Oh, thank you for that, S SRB. <laughs> and Nikki D. <laughs> Don't leave me. Right out. back. Cajun and Coley and family. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Oh dear. Thank you, Marla. Welcome. Thank you guys so much for doing yes. Good on you, dear. Thank you for becoming a member, Michelle. It Thanks for all you do, Justin, for me and you too, cousin. That uh, money got on the uh, go fund me. I'm buying a new motorcycle. You know what I mean? That annoyed me. Oh, I love you, honey. Thank you. Oh, jilt a cougar. She's roaring. He is there. They said the thing in pulling coming up has on that first one. <laughs> Don't know if it's my internet or their internet playing up. Thank <laughs> you. 
Man, this turn out the same as me. It is. It's got a ton of lady foliage. Every time I pass them, it's so windy, rainy. Oh, that is perfect today. Yeah, it is. It's a little warm, but it is. It's warm. Very warm. Mm -hmm. I think that might be the food right there in that tent. That's why I told her to say and family. That way it would include all of you guys, too. Yep. Because you guys are our family. Yeah, that's right. We're not just a group. We're a family. Hi, Molly. What's this cougar thing? Oh, in? they have bracelets. <laughs> uh, oh, I want um, is a, a woman of a certain age. Yes, if you have to pay for the bracelets, please get us one. We'll pay you back. I mean, I'm Southern and I'm... Okay, we'll look at Terry Lynn. I think. Give me one second. My husband, my light husband, was 11 years older. Yes, thank you. I'm sorry. I gotta put my charger in my. I know the phone. It's not a lot of ego. It's like every time I put it on the charger, I have to take it off or get the bag or something. Yeah. Yeah. No. It's gonna be I mean, when I get monetized. I'm gonna right. be yeah. a cougar. Cougar. Oh my hands are shaking. Cougar crew. Oh. If, if we're not able to get enough left, I'll try to get Tony to send me some. I'll try and get some too, guys. Come on. I think it's 615 Nashville. Is to put this on here. I have to ask. Sure. Yeah. Am I right? Yeah. Getting your full ticket, you can go. Thought so. 615 Nashville. You'll see it on there. Terry Lynn has busted her ass. She's at the school. Oh, I was right. Get you some nice walks, it, it was nice that they did this. She has busted her ass tremendously. Loved Terry. Yeah, a lot of. Yeah, we can class fourteen over you. That's a lot. Of five. <laughs> a lot. But most of us here are a lot older than the forties. A lot older than the forties. <laughs> You're it. <laughs> Imagine if all of us showed up. Oh my God! It would be the entire SRB, entire city. Is that you it? It would be the entire city. I'm gonna send her a super. chat in a minute still younger <laughs> molly woohoo i'm a cougar oh, oh god <laughs> <clears throat> She's yeah, buffering. Happy, uh, normally, it's only a handful, but they've really been pushing this one as well, though. But before, a lot of Facebook pages was wasn't allowing posts for Sebastian, like promotion for vigils, to be posted. Oh, I'm sure the Bower socks aren't there. The Bower socks are not there. Go there. Like the Lynch Do you imagine if they turn it off? Oh, my God. I thought Katie and Chris was arranging a motorcycle ride. Let me send her a super chat. 
Huh? That never happened, did it? God, what's wrong with this shit? Streamyards, man. No, I don't think this is turning out. His one finished. He didn't film for long. I'm not sure who's this one is. This is a lot. Hold on, y'all. God, don't get me, Hadley. Gabby on Sunday. Yeah. One second. And I thought I would bring y'all on this. You know, make so I'm just not sure there's enough bandwidth for Terry's at. But it's a lot. Some nice things. Probably using a great service there. Very nice. More bikes. Just is gonna start. And more bikes. <laughs> oh, I've never heard him cuss. I've never heard Justin cuss. Oh boy. So it's Terry doing this Terry link, right? These are not nice. spies. Tons. Yeah, it's bouncing off the Wi Fi, isn't he? I didn't think it uh, was mine because normally it shows me no, 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 Beth no. is there. If I've got bad internet, it'll tell me. I was a buccaneer. 1994. What is it? I've never heard of course. You know what? I probably have. I probably have heard him cussing. Just let it go. You know what I mean? What are you doing, shorty? Not thought about it. <laughs> No crying, hi baby. You can't cry. Shorty. Look at all this stuff. Yeah. Miss Jones and me. You like it when I sing it. I know, right? You do like it when I sing it. How do I, send I sing her? it for a while. Hold on, I need to send her to you. When y'all see a Miss Jones, y'all see Shorty right there. That's Miss Jones and me. This is nice. Yeah, they're back at the school now. So the video should, the actual video is that should not be a lot of bikes? One second, y'all. Let's see what else we got going on. I need to put up something. Okay. Two seconds, so I can send her a chat. We got some more, folks. I think it's my internet because it's flashing up now. Kids coming up down to two bars. Let's see if I notice like this stranger. Do I know you? Oh, I do. I'm a oh, I like that. Thing. I'm good. How are you? Since um, Justin had that problem with YouTube with his first channel, Justin for all, right? I think he got striped because ever since then he's always been uh, using the disclaimer a lot more or putting something over. Oh, I know you. The rumors going to start. Oh shit! Get away! Get away! Like, I normally cover videos with uh, any live stream, anything like this. I normally put a picture of Sebastian over it. So you only get the audio.
We don't share that. <laughs> That's a lie. I've never been to his house. He's never been to my house. Hold on. I'll just see if I can find it somewhere else. See if anyone else is doing it. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, I've got Terry Ling on at the moment. Don't strike me, Terry Ling. I'll, I will um, put you in my description, your link. It's awesome. I mean, you would never think it makes you want to cry, and I'm trying not to. Y'all know I'm a titty baby, yes it is, but I'm trying not to. <sighs> really? <sighs> and then when you see this in the back, it brings Sebastian home. Uh. I mean, I am a titty baby. Well, that's the problem I, I have with you. Apparently, we got another one. I'm going to my bang. Because apparently, I was. Um, Violating some of their. We got more taken off here. And I think have you got my right, the right channel? Okay. Thank you all. Be safe. I gave them the link and everything. So, and then the same day I said, I'll get the second channel. This is my first channel got reopened. Here they go. Yeah, he's public relations. This is his first job. They go, but I just think what he did yesterday with Seth, how he let Seth go on that rampage, just put a stop to it. Didn't let him go on the live, but he did. And then when he goes on his TikTok, he's putting out some information that isn't good. There's more because he isn't getting verified. See that, I'm going to kind of take a look now, just because I can see that. 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 They should have. I think I think I see. Is that Charlie? I don't know. Maybe not. We got some about to take off here again. Don't. Charlie asked if that was him for my black talks. That's not Charlie. He's, uh, so he's out every, he, I, I believe every day he goes out looking. And I, I do thank y'all for the super chats. I cannot see y'all right now. Uh, thank y'all for supporting this. I do appreciate it. I really do. Got some more leaving. Here we go. Oh, where did I come in? All of these bikes. <laughs> you know what I do is if I, if I had a bike and I was there, I'd go to the right. house and as I went past their house, Thank I'd you, so it, Thank you. rev that bike up as I went past the house. And go to the top of the road Hold again, on. come down nice and quietly and Hold rev on. it up again as I went past. And there we go. Yeah. And we got some more coming out. He just got to realize what his job is. I mean, he's my job. He's organized this, okay, along with set. Almost said regulators, man. Right. It says it on the back, though. 
when he's going on his TikToks and his YouTube channels, he's got to remember who there he is and what he's there for. I didn't say it though. But I give them my props. I don't know where you get the prize. It's from. Thank y'all. I do. Thank all of y'all. I do appreciate y'all. I do. I do. I do. I can't see y'all, but I know that y'all are here, and I appreciate y'all. Got another. Let's see if we're gonna take off or not. No. Some of them are leaving because they won't stay for the big hill. Some have been, they're not even staying to eat, that tells you anything. They're not. They did what they did for the cause. And that's a lot. It is a lot. Yeah, I didn't follow the ride because that just, I mean, unless I was riding, uh, I wasn't that, you know. And y'all know y'all wouldn't want me trying to drive a motorcycle. Because that would not have been fun. We would have been looking crazy. It is sad. You need someone who knows what they're doing really good. Let's see what all we got here. And it's hot. Well, I hope they do because I think they're all crazy. Pretty hungry. Let's see. I'll tell you. Uh, uh, no, I mean they they could be here. Yeah, this is a come together. I say this is a come together. This is what I would call this. This is a come together. This is completely a come together. I mean, you've got on the back of a vehicle here, Sebastian Strong. Hello. Hi. How are y'all? Good. I'm good. I'm good. Well, this is the nice. best term I have seen ever in all the videos. And it's hot. Now I can try to see what y'all are saying here. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That's what I was doing. I was thanking them because that's awesome. I'll always be here for Seth and Sebastian. Always. This right here is awesome. Because I'm going to you got some more rod? No. Huh. Hi. Hungry? Thank y'all. Thank you. Thank you. He's Thank y'all. Back to work, knowing his son is out there somewhere, and, and there's you. nothing he can do. I love that he can do. Mm. Oh, that breaks my heart. Right there. Mm. Wow. And that's true. Mm. Oh. Huh. <laughs> I don't know. Mm. Oh, thank you, SD. Oh, that got me there. No, I just love that picture of Sebastian and his dad. Yeah. Yes, I did have a good turnout. Right, but the one before didn't have a very good. It had people there, 
but not that many because apparently uh, certain Facebook pages wasn't allowing it to be promoted. Okay, that's the truth. Gosh. And that was beautiful. Let's see. Yes, Oh, there's Karen. You always gotta have a Karen. <laughs> that dance on song, man. Got on the yeah. Who's Charlie? I haven't found Charlie. I think I recognize this dog. I, was, <laughs> I had tears earlier when I seen the end of I think I recognize before. this dog. Say, we recognize each other. Right? I recognize that dog. <sighs> it is hot, but <sighs> no, we shouldn't. We shouldn't be here, Jill. Uh, SRB. We shouldn't be here. Recognize Jude. You know what I mean? Because the best thing to do with his dad now, in a couple of weeks, he'll see with his dad or wherever. We shouldn't be here. <laughs> but for some reason or another, they wanted him gone. I think it's gone great. I mean, in my opinion, it's a lot of people that have turned out for this. A lot. I think so. I mean, a lot of people turned out for this. Before? Let's see what you got. Let's see. He's got a launch picture. Oh, wait, hold on. So, it's just, it shouldn't be here for any ch child, you know what I mean? Not one child should go missing. This is the world we're living. That, that, that's a lot. Wow. Over 200 people. Wow. 200 people that turned out there. Wow, that's a lot. So that's a lot. I don't know what we're waiting for next, but we're going to find out. So this dog here. No. We've got a lot of people here. We've got a helicopter flying. No, that that guy still hasn't ago. gone live. He's going to count the commission oh. now. And then we'll go down. There's still some that are still here. All right, I'm gonna let you have this back. Oh, but thank you, you God. Oh, I might be following you around. Where the? Oh. Yep, it's almost six. We got two minutes. Two minutes till six. Wow. Two minutes. Two minutes. And I know that people are gonna start speaking. Right past my bed time. And we'll go down there for that. I'll go down there for that. If I was in the U.S. We got Mr. I J. I made my way down there. Pretty, really uh, oh, we got Mr. J. Mr. Okay. Mr. 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 Miss, that's what I do when I go live. I sing because why not? If I'm going to go pass out, if I'm going to go in a creek, if I'm going to bring awareness, I'm singing. So I sing. I sing. I'll just, well, I do sing that to her. Mrs. Jones and my fear cat. Mrs. Jones. Huh?
That's why after last night's discussion, well, I actually uh, went. Or healing. Um, I'm over them. The missing, so I'm not, uh, the, I mean, a website for missing children I, in the US. Start, not, and I've, I've marked three or four of them to do yes. on the notes. Drama. I don't know. I don't care for it. I don't want to be a part of it. I'm going to have it on here. I don't want nothing to do with it. Nothing. No, that ain't going to happen. Yeah, that ain't going to happen here. No drama on her page. No drama on mine. I don't know where Pascal is. If I find him, I'll tell you. Um, Pascal. Where are you? Wait, is that Jackson Pascal? Nine. Damn, you're tall. But I want to go short. I was like, he's tall. Yeah, it's, I'm Terry Lynn. Oh, Terry. Hey. <laughs> nice you, to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. I would, I would never. I, I'm like, they told me to come. Yeah, they told me to come by Pascal. So hey, here. Terry Lynn. Tell him hi. He's Sorry, tall as. Yes, Pascal. Pascal. My God, son. But no, it makes me look uh, shorty. <laughs> He's got to be about six foot uh, four. I'm glad you right? went six down. four. I you guessed it on the spot, that, six four. I wonder if his game is set. But yeah, I found it. Yeah. Oh, okay. I don't know. Cool, I'll find out, y'all. Trust That's me. That's my internet line up now. We're going to find out here in about five seconds of Pascal Road. Yep. Y'all got a question? I'll ask. Him. As soon as I know, I'll ask. Yes, he's 6'4. I just guessed it, y'all. 6'4. Got to ask him. Seriously. Wow. Thank you, honey. I appreciate that. It means a lot. It really does. Because that water's hell. I, mean, I won't lie. It, it is hell. But I ain't going to stop. Going to. No, no I mean, I'm not going to stop. Day and night, I'm going to keep going. I don't care. People can say whatever. Well, we only see him hey, sitting oh. down, don't we? <laughs> so, now, we see him standing what did y'all want me to ask, Pascal? Uh, I don't know. They want to see you stand beside T-Rev. Uh, I don't know where he's at. I was like, I don't know where he's at. I guess it's like, oh, oh, I got the question. Did you ride? Did you? I mean, I was in the car. He was in a car riding, y'all. He was riding in a car. Here they go. The 10 speed couldn't no, keep up. The 10 speed? Did you get on 10 speed? He said he was going to. Did you get on a 10 speed? No. No, 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 wait. I was like, wait, what? Well, quit. I was like, did he get on a damn 10 speed? No, he didn't get on 10 speed. I said I wasn't going unless I was on a Charlie Brown and Snoopy type of deal. <laughs> Give me a sidecar. But no, he's six right, foot four. I guess. On, 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 I guessed it. So there's that. Okay. I do. I only see him sitting down. I did. I guessed I it right off. Six, so Jay's praying. Is it prayer time? Okay, we're going to be praying. Yeah, 10 speed. Come on, come on. Uh, no, they did not show. Come on. I will when I so, uh, see my Jayden again. Oh, I will tell him thank you. Um, but Jay's about to pray. So we're going to have to bow our heads, y'all. Thank you. We're going to be bowing our heads because he's about to... Uh, when Mr. Bobby. J talks, that's what you do. Bobby, I'm not big. Whenever he gets started, we're going to move. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad he went. He kept his work. Yeah, uh, I didn't know he was that tall. He's such a tall wow. drink of water. Don't repeat that. Cougars, calm down, please, with the Pascal. But he is a tall drink of water. I said it. Next time I catch a live of this, I'm going to go in there and put a comment. Okay, well, she's say, scared. Pascal, you're getting all my cougars in my cat. All worked up here. Wait, yeah. That's why I said it quietly. I ain't done. Whispered. Oh, 
I don't know. That make me feel crazy. This is Mr. J. Um, he's a longtime friend of uh, Seth and the family. He's a held man at his wife. That went that way. I'm going um, to say that the wooden sets down and he's done nothing but look for his son. Like T Rev, he don't have none of his lives monetized. None of them. Because he don't believe in uh, profiting from cars, from his lives raised by about young children. There's my son, Google is quietly watching. Oh my God. <laughs> 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 About five foot two, five foot four. It's so yep. in my mind. <laughs> If a woman is an older woman, anytime you want to, come on. Like a younger man. What is an older guy like younger women? Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Thank you for your I don't 
think so. Don. Oh, God. Mr. Don. Dr. Dr. Don. Uh, there he is. <laughs> As a commissioner. Yeah, the commissioner is supposed to be doing a flipping line of this. It's very hard to hear. Yes, I do. <coughs> oh my God, you lot. I love the answers you're coming out with. Thank you. You are pastor. I'm going to say, where did we go? Uh, All right, ladies and gentlemen. I see him, I'll tell you. Can't hear it. Can't hear. Come on, internet. 
that we may hope to enter into the joy of the body of eternal presence. So hear our prayer, O Lord, and in thy mercy, guide us ever closer to thee, that we may dwell in the light of thy kindness forevermore. Amen. 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 Sebastian's army. Sebastian's army. Sebastian's army. That's yeah. Mr. J. That was good. This wife is right. Someone should go up and sing that wife. song, Sebastian song. The one I'll play. I'm on play. Okay. Find Pascal again. I gotta find it. Yeah, that his wife, Mr. J, that was just singing. His wife is right here. That's Miss Laura. Who's Miss Laura? Yeah. He's good. You never told me Jake is singing. Not too bad, no. He did good. Are you Terry Lynn? They say I'm Terry Lynn. I can tell by your voice. Thanks, I heard it. I, was like, I thought she, she was Terry Lynn. I was like, you look, you look different with that's your that's makeup that's on. Oh, damn it. If you ever need help, I'm in Nashville, and I'll be glad to help you. Come out anytime. If, if you see me out, just send me a message. Well, I, saw, but you can't, I can't. Don't tell nobody where I'm at. Like, no, just uh, like, shoot me an email. Okay. Just shoot okay. me an email yeah, at so any time. I was like, man, I want to get out and help, but like, no, everybody stopped searching me. I see you out all the time. So I was like, well, they no, be, uh -uh. I'll never stop. So yeah. no, that's not I'm true. I'm talking about like, not you, but like the, the group oh, up here that I, I was searching with. Yeah. So I was searching with them and then they stopped. And then I was like, where do I go now? And I've been seeing you and I've been following you on YouTube. Yeah, I'm not going to stop. Is to go find yeah, yeah, I'm going to keep Well, I'll help you. I'll help. Yeah, anytime. Come on. Where's, I don't know. Y'all want me to find T-Rev? Y'all see him. Let me know. Find T-Rev. If y'all see him, let me know. Is that him? Is that you know what he looks like? Only Is that him? Y'all, I can barely see. Y'all got to help me. Only got a cat. Okay. Y'all gonna have to help me. If y'all seen him, let me know. Did y'all see him? Y'all wanna see him? Okay, if I find him, I'll. Okay, is that him? I don't know what he looks like, y'all. In a tent? No, those are all women. Is this him here? 
a tent with all with me. T revs in there. <laughs> so I'm glad other uh, YouTubers were there though. The ones that support Seth. I'm like, I don't know. Uh, what is your name? Is that T Rev? Internet come back. Did I find him? I think I found him. Yes. Yes, that's T Rev. That's T Rev. That's our T Rev. Oh, that's a lot? What's going on? They want to know what your name is. T Rev. T Rev. Did y'all hear him? He just owed y'all his name. Yeah, they said, find you. I found Pascal. So I was like, I need to find Oh, he's going a bit shy on here, hasn't he? Oh, T Rev. Don't go shy on us. Well, come on anytime. Hey, anytime. Come on. Yeah, any anytime. It's about my heart. Yeah. Okay, who else do you need me to find? <laughs> oh my gosh. They want you to stand beside Pascal. Yeah, I think Pascal went that away the last I seen him. I'm like, y'all want me to do that? Uh, I'll find him. The one I'm standing side I'm gonna look for him again. I can't help y'all. <laughs> they want y'all to stand beside each other. Uh, I'm looking for him again. I, I had him a minute ago. He's got on black bridges. Uh, I'll wear a cap. When I'm outside, I'll wear a cap. Okay, I'm going to look for him, okay, y'all? I'm going to look for him. Sorry. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm looking. Yes, ma'am. Yes, I do. We searched together. No, we didn't. We went no, with Bobby, together. we went to school together. Yes. I'm like, wait. I I'm like, look. we were here together, girl. <laughs> I was like, wait, hell. I'm like, I can barely see anybody that... There's a lot of people. I, I know. Like, I've, I've been, I've been, I like you became all like YouTube and stuff, and I'm like, oh my gosh, you got out there I in the world. world. Have a secret. I don't do that. Terry Lynn. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Thank you for everything you do. I watch you. You're and, welcome. Man, you're amazing. Like, Thanks. you're absolutely I don't amazing. I feel that way, but thank you. <laughs> I don't. What you do is just. I think you're great. Thanks. Why I do people talk? talk? <laughs> you're out there doing it. I don't know. I just. He's my. Host. I think that it, if, uh, if we're local, we should be doing it. We're from one county. We're about an hour and a half away, but I've been following this since it happened. And it, it's just something about this. It's just tugging my heart. And the fact that he just. just uh, and, no, and that's what I said. It's, this is crazy. That's why nobody's going to stop looking until something happens. I think right now should be a clean slate for all the we just had. It is kind of a clean slate. Yeah. But you know, I didn't realize. Think of Nashville. And I hate that for everybody. I do. You don't think about I got this. What you're curious about. To kick I ain't been on anybody's <laughs> property. I have. I will get on nobody's property. Yeah, I don't, yeah, I wasn't here. I was, no, I, that's the one. I, I'm like, uh, uh yeah. I, I I was I've not gone on anybody's property. I won't go on anybody's property like that. No, yeah, I won't. I promise. My kids actually were out with dogs mm -hmm. the first two days, searching all throughout the pond and over there and stuff. It was crazy. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's just this whole thing made me sick. Yeah, I promise. I I would never. And that's the promise I have made. I won't get on anybody's property. Well, it would be one thing if, like, if, if you came up and asked, like, hey, can we, like, get all the I didn't even know someone counting that. All the There's the sound gone. So, I think that was it, really, the picture. I think. Yeah, I won't get on it. I won't do that. So, uh, if anybody did, I'm sorry. It's not your fault. It makes me feel bad. Oh, Dad, this is great. Oh. Oh. All right. Let's see what we got here. 
um, is, I don't think so. Uh, we've got, uh, I found Pascal was that way. Yeah, he's here. I wanted to actually meet Seth. Seth is, uh, Seth is right here. There's Seth right there. Uh, trying to find. Let's see. Yeah, she wants. To, yeah, she she's a resident local. I did go to school with her. Sorry. We got some more searchers over there. Uh, which one do y'all want to give a hug to? Are they playing this song? No, I I don't think it. I don't listen. They they weren't. A, I, I got what she was talking about. Apparently, uh, YouTubers were getting on their property. Uh, um, I don't know nothing about it because I I'm not getting on nobody's property. Hello, thank y'all for this. Yeah. I'm gonna get back up there. You want me to find Pascal again? Hold on, we'll be And then you'll have to go and find TV. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't here when anybody went on somebody's property, so I'm not getting involved. But did I go to high school with her? I did. And I get it. Uh, hold on. I'm looking. What YouTube is it? Yeah, some more going on. There he is. What do you want me to do with Pascal? Pass They're about to faint if, they, if you don't do something for these people. Will you tell them hi? Sorry, what? That they want you, they want you to say hi or something. Oh, I'm gonna oh, give y'all a hi. shout out. Here y'all go. Hello. What's up? That's Pascal. We, we have cars coming through, y'all. Pascal, he's in, in the build. He did not ride a ten feet. That's him. Yeah. Uh, yeah, they're right here. Oh. He's right here. God. Wait. <sighs> He's here. Oh, yeah, I wanted them to stand by each other. I can't do that. <laughs> oh, they're sitting beside each other. There you go. Does that help? <laughs> they're, they're sitting down beside each other. If that helps, y'all. <laughs> Gene, I cannot ask him that. He, I, I told him I've already talked to him earlier, but they're sitting by each other. I already did earlier. Let me do it again. I will it again. But y'all, I can't. Y'all, I can't. I'm like y'all can't with this man. I think he's got a wife. I love this song they're playing in the background. I'll find out, but I think he's got a wife. Oh. Let me ask. Hold on. Who's married? Pascal's married. He's got. He's just had a baby. His partner's just had a baby. A few months ago, I think now, a couple of months ago. That's it. He's married, and I'm not. I'm not doing that. Uh, they're sitting beside each other right now, right there. You. All right. <laughs> All right. They're right there. Oh God. Who is it? I just. Uh, I'm not speaking on right now, y'all. That's wrong. That's just not for me. A fan Yes, Mister. Um, they want to hug. You. There's the hug. At my height. Y'all got it. Hands off. It's like I'm hugging the floor, but this cougar. We just need to bring Sebastian home. Yeah. That's it. You just need to bring my son. That's all he's asking. Bring his son home. That's it. He's going to bring him out. I did. I've, listen, I've hugged him more than once. I mean, I, I have. we got some more fans. The songs are beautiful. I don't know who chose the songs, but they are beautiful. Yeah. And you can look at these pictures are beautiful too. 
What is that say? Look at that. That's a baby. Sweet baby. That's just a sweet baby. Look at Those are so, they are, but I remember Steph saying near the beginning, we don't want to give all the pictures out and all the videos out. It's so cute. And these memories, you know what I mean? He's just beautiful. He won't go I don't blame him. He's just beautiful. I mean, you can admit he's beautiful. He's a sweetie. That's just precious. Oh, I love that picture. Mm -hmm. uh, the one where he's blonde haired and just cute as could be. That one. Yeah. Yeah. That's a beautiful baby. My God. Look at that face. Look at that. Yeah, baby. Yeah, look at that. That's just a pretty, pretty face. And I'm gonna get me another one of those. I'm gonna get one of this color. Okay, yeah, that one's smiling. Most of the time, smiling. Uh -huh. I was. Look at that. I love that picture of Sebastian and Seth together. I was You're there. always walking. It's hard to me? understand you when you're walking. I walk. Uh, I got to keep walking. It's, it's a walk thing. It's a walk thing for me. Uh, unless I'm sitting still, uh, and I have to be at home for that. I can't help it. I can't sit still. And I got to keep going. He's local. He shouldn't be here. Doing He's already found. Am I hyper? Well, I mean, my mama said I was. Selfish people. Probably am. Yeah. 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 I'd be a liar to say I'm not hyper. I'm hyper. We got another one, believe it. It's quick. When anything comes up about Sebastian, it's dirty. It's quick. No, a lot of it. It's not him. It's not him. Yeah. You know what I mean? If so I had long. gone through Springfield, huh? From Clarksville, if I had gone through Springfield, mm -hmm. I would have been here no time. Yeah. I didn't know where it was. Oh, where Beach was? Yeah. Oh. I, I didn't know where Hendersonville was. Gotcha, gotcha. I was like, my brother took me here years, years back in 2000, no, 1099. Uh huh. When I came out to visit him, but he's dead no, and gone now. He died of uh, God bless. Uh, cancer, leukemia. They they sent an email wow. on the other guy saying that wouldn't be a change. I love this music. I do love this. Is anybody still selling them? I can give you one. You want to walk up here? I'll give you one. One. I like to walk around. We're going to go give a yard sign out. Hold on. We're going to walk up here to give a yard sign. We got some leaving. Aaron, I'll be back in just a second. We got some leaving. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Look at them We got some leaving. All right. We're going to go up here and give her a yard sign. Yeah, apparently those yard signs that KP had, her, who's some friend or relative made for her, for them. He was having to buy them, from what I heard. 
We got some more pulling out. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go behind them. I'm going behind y'all. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Let's see. Let's go this way. Oh. Hello. All right. Gonna get her yard stuff. Never go go to any people. Never. It's never done. Besides, I mean, as I keep saying, we should not be here. You know, whether Sebastian rang off, if he left that house with no shoes, right? No phone, no money. We're going to get very hard, He was running for his life. Yeah, he was running for This is my, my mobile command center for right now. There's that one. And then there's I that. don't think he ever left that house. Not alive. Not alive. He left that house. Not alive. That's just my opinion. And she's taking her yard sign. Thank you. Okay, let's watch them go. Right, I'm going to finish it here because you know what I mean? People are going now, leaving me. So I'm going yes, to. Yes, 615 Nashville. Yes, very beautiful. And. Are you ready for I will pay you with? The one Thank you, everyone, for being here with me tonight. It's All you cougars out there. It's bringing a community together. These people aren't from Hendersonville. There's a lot that this will help right. find him. It's awareness, y'all. For anybody, anybody that's asking, this is that right there will help awareness. I mean, Those people came from that. Right. They didn't have to come here. Go over to a channel and please. Thank you, Carmel. Oh, uh, well, you're no, you're fine. 30. But these people, yeah. they did this on their own. Is that right there? Well, they're, they're not I, from. They're not I, from. I, they're not from Nashville. They came here. So I'm gonna leave it here, and I'll see you all tomorrow. See that? They came here. They came here, y'all, on their own. They didn't have to do this. I'm thankful. You're welcome, Kelly. That's what you should be welcome. thankful for is that so, people are spreading the word. Till next time. Stay and I stand tight. strongly on that. Hi. We got a man on a grill.